You know what it's time for? A bit of a performance test. Uh, these are just cardboard though. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadget Channel and in this one we're going to throw all of these screen recorders into one game, Brawl Stars. That's right, it's a simple performance test to see how each different screen recorder performs with the same game. We're looking at resolution, frame rate, audio, which is of particular interest in screen recorders and anything else we can catch. So let's jump straight into it and see how all of these screen recorders perform against Brawl Stars. So my general thoughts on Airshow is that the recording is fairly good. We do have the usual issue of having to re-encode the video to make it play back properly, which drops the frame rate significantly. But at 30 frames a second, it's still acceptable. As for the audio, a tiny bit of audio lag, I think, and it records through the microphone, which means that you do get background noise, so it doesn't sound perfect. Now onto every chord, and I can almost assure you that my experience of this will be radically different to yours. First of all, for some weird reason, from one screen recording I end up with two videos. This is the first one, which runs in slow motion, probably about half speed, and there is no audio. And the second video is a third of the length of the slow motion video, and it only runs for one minute, so it cuts out about 70% of the video. You can see the difference in the frame rate as well. The first slow motion video is only 9 frames a second, but the second one is a perfectly acceptable 30 frames a second. And look at that resolution. It is very high, so you do get a high quality video image but there is no sound. This has been a very long standing bug for me when I use it on my iPad Mini 4. Other people complain about it as well, but as I say, a minority find every chord works absolutely perfectly. So it is a bit of a weird conundrum. More updates are promised soon now, so we'll take a look when they arrive. Visorec shares many similarities with Airshow when it comes to screen recording, although there are a few subtle differences. First of all, the screen recording is capped at 30 frames a second, and the resolution is a little disappointing at 640 by 854 However, it does benefit from having the video re-encoded at source as soon as the recording finishes, which means that you get better audio, even though it is still from the microphone, I think the audio lag is non-existent here. It's a perfect sync. The one problem, of course, is that in order to get this video outside of Visorec, you would have to watch several adverts which ups the time limit of saving a recording to your photos. If you don't know what that means, check out my specific video reviews on Visorec. Do not run away. That was so I'm sure you've already spotted the big difference here without me having to tell you. Vidi records the sound internally, which means you get a much richer sound, and it includes music. Have you noticed that? Many audio recordings that are done through microphone seem to kill the music for whatever reason. The big problem with this, of course, is that you cannot hear the audio while you're playing the game. It doesn't output through the speakers. So instead of running blind, you're recording deaf, so to speak. Another couple of things, the frame rate is down at 26. You wouldn't want it any lower than that. And although this does look like a good recording, Vidi is a paid service to do a screen recording above two minutes, and it involves some fairly clunky stuff of going to a Safari web browser, starting the recording, and then saving the video from the web browser, so it uses the internet. So yeah, it is a little tricky to do, and for more information, you might want to check out my full review on Vidi. Where will I put my friend?
There are two major flaws I think Cool Pixel have, and they're both to do with the video. First of all, the frame rate is down at 14, which is pretty poor, and you don't really get a smooth playback experience. And have you noticed that there's a lot of dropped frames here where it's just skipping? It really doesn't look very good on the eye. The audio sync is fairly good, I will give them that, and the resolution is quite high. But other than that, I just don't think it's a very good recording experience. It should also be noted that CoolPixel is not free, it's a paid subscription service even though it runs off a certificate so you could end up paying for the application and then not be able to use it when a certificate goes down. So if you're fortunate enough to have a Mac or a PC, this is a recording experience you could have if you can be bothered setting it all up. Like Vidi, it does record the internal game sounds, but unlike Vidi, you can actually hear that audio playing back as you're doing a recording, which is fantastic. Frame rate is on the acceptable side at 25 frames a second, and the resolution is low at 720p. It should also be mentioned that Lonely Screen can be very temperamental, whereby it just doesn't work, you have to uninstall it, reinstall it, but it is free, unlike other screen recorders on computers. Unless, of course, you use QuickTime on a Mac. Yes, the iOS 11 built-in screen recorder still needs a lot of work. My first attempt failed completely, and on this second attempt, as you can hear, the audio lag is miles off, nowhere near what it should be, and this is an internal audio recording. You do have a mic option as well, and this is what that sounds like. So again, it took me two attempts to do this recording. The first one just bombed out completely. And as you can hear, the sound is terrible. It might be because I'm having to record this on my iPhone 7, which has iOS 11 beta, and I'm just touching the device too hard, but there's a lot of background noise and it didn't sound good. Although the audio is in sync with the video. So along with the many other problems that iOS 11 screen recording currently has, such as orientation, and it's simply not working as a screen recorder for many people, you might want to wait until they do more fixes on this. So there you are folks, you've seen the screen recordings and you've heard from my opinions, but what about yours? You have every right to reply, so let us know in the comments below, and if you think there are any screen recorders I missed that are worth trying, let me know. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and it was a good insight into the current state of screen recorders and the future. If you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Check out these guns.